Well, I got my Oculus Go's. These are um, 64 gigabyte uh, ones. And um, I'm going to have those and I'm going to have this one. And I'll probably be using this one myself at the venue. These two for other people to use. Um, I'll be going to Kroger, to my Kroger store sometime next week and sitting for four hours uh, showing off these suckers to the um, people that work uh, long 80 hour weeks, you know, um, some of them do. And I figure, you know, they need a little time out on their lunch break after they've had their uh, hot dog or whatever it is, you know. They can uh, experience, uh, have a little bit of a out-of-body experience, and then uh, maybe I could do it later at some time, or maybe at some time in the future, do a much bigger venue. But uh, the main reason why I got these, other than just to uh, allow people to experience VR um, who can't afford to do it, um, is to um is to uh have backups in case this doesn't take off um i will have something that i can fall back on and uh in case <laughs> the whole thing just dissolves into nothing you know but uh if it takes off like i would hope it would do um then you know it will i'll be able to either sell them off or give them away or i don't know what i'll do with them but uh, I, I plan to get an Oculus uh, Quest uh, on my birthday uh, when they come out. But the Go's um, are fantastic. And uh, I strongly suggest everybody and their dog buy one. You know, you think that you've experienced VR, you don't, haven't even touched the surface of what VR is possible, what is possible with VR. Um, it is not simply stereo surround all that it is um this this thing is a standalone um entertainment system um it's you can see it right here this is what it looks like uh when you see this is what mine looks like and uh, the only problem with it is about an hour, after an hour of use, it starts to overheat. Um, and it's got a controller, and the headset and the controller, the controller's got six degrees of freedom. That means that you can move it, or no, it's actually three degrees of freedom. Actually, both things have got three degrees of freedom. Um, I, <laughs> I don't have six off. Um, the quest well the quest for each hand you will have a six doff controller and the headset i think will be a three doff the three doff uh, headset will be a point of reference for the hand controllers so the hand controllers know exactly where you are in 3d space with respect to the headset so that's how they get their six doff and you know it's positional tra translational is what this is called that's one three degrees of freedom. That's not what you usually get. What you usually get is rotational degrees of freedom, three. Um, you can turn it this way. You can turn it that way. You can turn it, um, let's see it this way, that way, and um, this way, that way. So there's a, those are your six degrees of freedom, your, your rotation with respect to the x-axis, with respect to the y-axis. Okay, so with respect to the x-axis, with respect to the y-axis, with respect to the z-axis, say, and that's what uh, uh, it's all about. That's, and that's a hokey pokey and you stick your foot in and that's what it's all about. Um, so, um, there, there we go. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use YouTube DL to download from YouTube all the VR content. And the VR content comes in the form of an MP4 uh, video. It's just a very large MP4 video. And um, it's, it's just, it has a certain 
sort of, um, it, it's like two fisheye lens uh, images put together, uh, a left and a right. And when you put them in a certain format um, with the player, the player um, shows it in stereo 3D. And you look around like you would look. I don't, I don't see how they are achieve it, but they do. It, it comes out looking great. Um, so, um, and th so the thing is, is that it outputs a format that you can reuse and that you can load in and save out and you can use on other players. And so it is not, uh, doesn't use any proprietary formats there. The, it's completely open ended. These are Android based devices. So, um, because they're Android, you can, you can get access to them from USB, uh, open them up, uh, put in it, put movie files into it, take movie files out of it. Um, it's completely accessible. The only thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have SD cards on it. And there's probably a reason for that. And that reason I would see is probably that the, um, <coughs> The processor is somewhere within inside of the device at the center, and it's got a heat sink on it. And um, the SD cards to get there would have to they would have to skew the electronics uh, in such a way to put the SD card somewhere, and then you would risk the chance of the SD card problems possibly falling out. But um, it also may be that the SD card wouldn't wouldn't uh, um, wouldn't work up to snuff as the SD cards tend to be too slow a memory to work for this kind of video format. This video format um, uh, demands um, per um, per 20 minutes to uh, suck down about 3 gigabytes of data. And so that's 30 megabyte, 30, 60 megabyte per minute um, or uh, th 30... 60 megabyte per second, I think. And so you would need two SD cards and connected to it probably to make it work. I don't think they use SD cards in these things. I think they use um, a, a much uh, faster memory uh, in order to do what they need to do. Um, anyhow, um, that's that. Um,